Good morning and good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Sham. I've been in this IT industry uh, more than a decade and working with uh, particularly working with data and analytics. Okay, so in this today's demo, um, we'll be uh, covering about uh, how uh, data and analytics are ruling the world and what is the role of a data engineer and can can uh, place a significant contribution to the uh, industry. And of course, uh, you, you know already the uh, data engineering role as a data engineer role, it's evolving and it's quite different from a soft, normal software uh, uh, engineer in terms of pay scale and all. So now let's let's focus on uh, why this 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 space is growing so much. As as you all as you all know, we are we living in a information age. It's a fourth generational information age where data and uh, artificial intelligence ruling the world. Uh, so you you see the data everywhere, right? Whether you are a manufacturer, whether you are a service provider, whether you are a, any any company, any any uh, business have uh, generating enormous data and day to day. Now, since the data is growing every day, you would have heard about this one, you know, data is the new oil, uh, those kind of uh, jargons. Why? Because um, there are a lot of, you know, information getting uh, generated and it's time to, you know, derive some of the insights that can help uh, businesses to, to to innovate fast and, and, uh, and uh, mitigate the risk of, you know, um, there are so much of risk, right? Particularly if you see COVID kind of a situation where businesses have become clueless. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to operate because everything is shut down, the lockdown and that will happen. And um, uh, everything is shut down. They don't know how to operate and they don't know how to generate revenues. Okay, I'll give you a typical example. Now, if you take a uh, manufacturer kind of a Unilever or uh, somebody where they, they operate in uh, core manufacturing, they, they make products and they sell to the customers. Now, let's say that they to do their manufacturing, they are... Uh, uh, you know, uh, partnered with many, many partners in terms of raw material supply and all. Now, if the, suddenly the lockdown announced and the uh, supply chain halted, now immediately they they, uh, they hit their revenues because there is no supply chain uh, available, there is no raw material available and they could not uh, make the products and eventually they, they will not make any money, right? So that's the, that's the biggest risk to any any organization. Now, to mitigate that risk, what are the different options they can do with the data? Now, they have a data of enormous data of, you know, uh, they have a supplier information from China, they have a supplier information from Indonesia, they have supplier information and so on and so forth countries. Now, being being uh, being shut down, uh, being locked down with one area, using the data, they can Im immediately get some insights, you know, who are the different uh, you know, supply uh, partners they can operate with, with, with other other countries and other areas they can get the uh, raw material and they can process the raw material and create their own products right so this is the this is where the risk mitigation come into picture and they are they are completely relying on data to get these insights without data they don't know who are who are the suppliers who are working on and and so on and so forth and and that could happen in eventually in any any businesses not only with the covid let's say that let's say that if 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 uh, if 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 i have a manufacturer in in, in for currently i can give a real time example currently i have a man, uh, manufacturing unit in chennai now due to floods floods and all it's everything all the network blocked all the uh, you know roads roads everything has stopped so now what what is my mitigation plan right so since since i have committed my customers to deliver so and so products and i am expecting x number of x dollars of revenues from them now because of this eventual which is not not every anyone's control now what i what are the alternatives i can do that right so if i have a data i can look for other options maybe i can look for another geography or another state where i can uh, you know, procure the uh, raw material immediately and then i can start my own uh, uh, manufacturing right so in that way i can i can mitigate my risk and i can generate some revenues to the organization so this is the way data is playing so much of you know um, importance in day to day businesses if across financial across healthcare across um, uh, supply chain anything that you can think of 
okay and and as i said right to take day day to day informed decision making and digital transformation and enhance productivity the way 10 years ago uh, people used to manufacture products now it's changing changing every day right you, we no longer we no longer uh, doing the same way what we used to do 10 years ago right if you do the same thing we will we will not get into what we wanted right the competitive we lose the competitive advantage and we lose that innovation and artificial intelligence is playing a very big role here and i am hope i hope you have uh, had uh, so much of about artificial intelligence in day in day out okay now i'll give a quick example as i said uh, given a unilever as an example and other other some of the data driven businesses so the, these kind of a businesses they they do not have anything to do without data if they, if they don't have a data platform their business is shut for example uber uber what did what they do they connect uh, basically they connect the consumer and the supplier right for example i want to go from a point a to point b you need a uh, you need a data of who are the different pro- providers are available in the to reach point b and he just connect to um, uh, you and uh, the supplier and then he makes money similarly airbnb similar be netflix right you can talk at so and so forth now Uh, if you if you t- take a take a step back and see how they do businesses and all, they they just use data engineering scope in in all these businesses. Okay, as 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 you have you can uh, um, hear from uh, some of CEOs, right? The company every company is a data company, and data engineering become a core role of all their businesses. Okay, that's why data engineering is called a success job of twenty first century. Okay, and you can see. Uh, more and more businesses in working and definitely data engineering indisputably and plays an important role in every businesses okay so now the course of the uh, objective of this uh, whole uh, course is to make you to learn data engineering using azure data factory and azure data bricks so that you can either, whether you are upskilling yourself whether you are you know uh, expecting uh, to learn new technology or you are already working and uh, already working professional and you want to to uh, change your career track to data engineering so this course will help you to learn some of the basic and and adva- uh, also not not basic advanced stuff in uh, azure data factory and uh, azure data bricks how the data engineering works and then you can you can take to a new realm okay and and coming to the format uh, so the training ca- 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 it's a three level of uh, format one first is concepts we will cover concepts of what is uh, um, uh, the theoretical concepts and also the hands on we will uh, on those concepts what are we learn we do a hands on right so we will 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 explain with real time scenarios okay so there is a difference between uh, theoretical and uh, real time right so we will you also teach you how this concept or the theory is going to be applicable in real time okay for example if you ask me a plus b whole square i i cannot explain you how in real time i can use a plus b whole square right but but as on a lighter note i can tell you if in azure data factory how the, uh, each scenario and each uh, function how it works in a real time scenario to to and help the businesses to move towards the uh, engineering side okay so with that i can kim simply uh, uh, go through the syllabus just a overview so that you will understand uh, a bit uh, so so covering with the introduction you will learn uh, some of the big data concepts and why it's uh, evolving and what are the big data analytics and all and and we will cover about creating a pipeline and all using the azure data factory okay now you might be wondering why azure data factory azure is basically from a microsoft product and uh, out of three players right uh, uh, microsoft amazon aws and as well google azure had a uh, azure had more uh, market share uh, in t- uh, particularly on the data space and as as i, ca- I have seen in my my career most of the clients which i work they are all using azure data stack okay so that so that's the reason we have started with azure data factory and if you if you tarot with this one so you have a, a better chance of getting a uh, um, uh, working with that uh, azure data factory with the client 
so now after that we will create uh, the uh, talk about some of the important concepts uh, within uh, uh, data factory and we will tell you how to work with some for example link services uh, pipelines so on and so forth okay and within that there are so many uh, i know this content been shared with you okay go through that uh, uh, but 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 highlight i wanted to connect uh, and I'll show you what exactly the format and what exactly we are going to do and finally you will be created that you will be created a uh, free account free tier account which microsoft provides you a uh, free tier account going to be created across all the students and then we will use that account to operate with the microsoft portal for example as you can see in my my portal uh, my screen uh, this is azure data uh, portal and you can see all the services of cloud services which are available okay there are there are uh, many many services you can uh, you can see that here there are so many uh, developer tools devops all the services are available but as part of this course we will be restricting to the services which which are useful for us in terms of creating data factories creating sql databases key vaults and storage accounts azure data bricks as you can see azure data bricks here right and subscriptions so on and so forth okay so this is this is going to be the high level about that and quickly i wanted to uh, highlight so um, we uh, f f since since uh, you are you will be uh, learning as part of this course right so you will getting a real time project training and also 100% practice uh, sessions okay there will be weekly assignments and uh, weekly quizzes and of course not only weekly we have a daily uh, daily uh, scenario based questions and scenario will be thrown given throw a challenge to you to to solve a scenario using our data factory and uh, of course it's, a, it's almost 60 live sessions on every day uh, it's every day of one hour and we'll also support you in terms of interview to to give you some kind of interview preparation tips and uh, uh, tools where you can prepare well for uh, face the interview and as i said this the course is going to complete in uh, two months okay so hope you guys uh, uh, like the content and the course okay see you all soon thank you guys